this video, I'm going to take you through the decentralized exchange, Uniswap. I really hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you do, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button and share if you feel that others may benefit. Also, please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews and step-by-step -step guides. Uniswap is a decentralized exchange or DEX, allowing users to trade any Ethereum-based tokens directly through a web-free wallet such as the likes of Metamask. Without any deposits or withdrawals required, by using liquidity pools instead of order books. And anyone can quickly swap between ETH and any ERC20 token or earn fees by supplying any amount of liquidity. And you can become a liquidity provider by simply depositing tokens into a smart contract and receiving pool tokens in return. There's two elements to Uniswap that I'm going to take you through today, which are swap for exchanging and pool for providing liquidity. And Swap provides a one-stop shop for exchanging any ERC20 token in a few clicks without having to worry about KYC, custody or phishing. By leveraging smart contracts, Uniswap is able to offer autonomous on-chain transactions at marginal costs with no listing fees, no native tokens required and they claim to have the cheapest gas costs of any DEX. And as of May of 2020, Uniswap has now officially upgraded to Uniswap version 2, a new and improved version of the exchange featuring ERC20 to ERC20 token pools, native price Oracle and flash swaps. So let's take a look at Uniswap now. So if you head across to launch app in the top right hand side of your screen. Now obviously to get started you'll first need the token that you'll be swapping from. Plus, you'll need some Ethereum to pay for the gas required for each transaction to execute. So the first thing we'll need to do is connect our wallet at this stage. So if we click on to connect wallet in the top right hand side of our screen, you'll then have the option to connect up the likes of Metamask, Wallet Connect and the Coinbase wallet. And if you're not too sure how to use these, then I've got four tutorials, which I'll pop it links in the summary below for you to use. Now today I'm going to be connecting to a Metamask wallet, which is actually connected to my hardware wallet. And as you can see at the top of the screen here, that's now connected. And we'll want to ensure that we're on version 2. Then we're going to need to select the token that we're swapping from. And it will retrieve our balances from the wallet that we've connected. And once you've selected your token, you can then type in the amount that you'd like to swap, which you can type in manually into here. Or you can click onto Max. And then under this section, you can add a recipient. So say for example, you wanted to send this to someone else or another address without the tokens going directly into your Metamask wallet. You can do that from here, which is pretty handy to have. You'll then want to select the token that you're swapping to. And as you can see, there's a wide range of options available as any ERC20 token can be listed on Uniswap with no permission required. Now this can obviously also come with its own disadvantages as they could potentially be scam coins. So you just want to ensure that you have the correct one. And if for any reason you can't find the token that's listed within here, you can also enter in the contract address from the likes of Etherscan. In this example, I'm going to be swapping 0.5 Ethereum to Ample. Then you'll see the amount that you'll receive, and this is estimated. This is because there could be some slippage, there's some fees to pay, and also some price impacts due to movement and the size of the liquidity pools. So underneath then, it shows me the minimum that you'll receive. And if we just go on to the question mark here, you'll see that your transaction will revert if there is a large, unfavorable price movement before it's confirmed. It'll also show your price impact. So this is the difference between the market price and the estimated price due to the trade size. Then it will show us our liquidity provider fee, which is at 0.3%. Now let me just take you across to the settings in the top right hand side of the screen here, which is like a cog icon. I just wanted to show you that some of these settings can be customized. 
So we can change the slippage tolerance from 0.5 to 0.1 or 1%. There's a transaction deadline in here too, which cancels the trade if it doesn't complete within a certain time frame. Then if you want to go ahead, you'd first need to approve the AMPL if you've not already swapped or allowed access previously, which I actually have. And once you've approved, you'll then be able to go ahead and swap your coins. It then shows us our confirmation, so it shows us that our output is estimated and we'll receive at least 64.589 AMPL or the transaction will revert. It tells us our price, the minimum sent, that price impact again, and that fee. And if you're happy to, you can go ahead and confirm the swap. And as you can see, the gas fees are quite high at the moment. However, you can edit this and use it in conjunction with ETH gas station. However, for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead with the default. Now, my first swap actually failed. However, I tried again and that's all now gone through. So that was how you can swap. But what if you want to start providing liquidity on Uniswap? Well, first, you must hold ETH and an equal amount of the target ERC20 token in the same wallet. If you don't have those tokens, you can use the swap function to get them. Then if you click onto the pull tab, and the reason why you're seeing that your liquidity section appearing is because I've already added liquidity, which I can see from the drop down here. But if you want to add liquidity, click onto the button, and you'll then see ETH automatically selected in the top box and you can select your ERC20 token in the bottom box. So in this example, I'm going to select AMPL, and it will show me my corresponding balance for that token in here too. And if I then click onto Max, it will then pre-populate the amounts for you. And you'll see the prices in the pool share, and the share of the pool that you'll have after supplying the pool. And when you're ready to, you can go ahead and click onto Supply. You'll then receive a confirmation stating the amount that you'll receive. It'll tell you the ETH that you've deposited, the ample you've deposited. It'll tell you your rates in here too, and the share of the pool. And as it states here, the output is estimated. If the price changes by more than 0.5%, your transaction will revert. And when you're happy to, you can go ahead and confirm the supply. And again, you'll be paying gas for this transaction. And when you're happy, you can go ahead and confirm. And after the transaction is confirmed on the blockchain, you'll see the amount of ETH and AMPL liquidity provided and your pool share as a percentage. This liquidity is tapped into when users make ETH to AMPL trades on Uniswap, meaning the ratio of your ETH to AMPL may change over time. And you could end up with more ETH or AMPL depending on which way people are trading, but the dollar value will always remain constant. With each liquidity providing transaction, you'll automatically receive Uniswap Liquidity Provider or LP tokens. And these tokens track your contribution to the pool and are used for distributing your share of the transaction fees accumulated in the time period that you provide liquidity for. Now, if you are supplying AMPL tokens, you may be interested here that you can also receive AMPL tokens by staking the LP tokens in the AMPL geyser. Now this is slightly out of scope for this video, but if you're interested in finding out more about this, then I'll create another video to show you how. Then finally, I'll just take you through a few extra settings on the site. So if we head across to that cog icon again in the top right hand side of your screen, you can toggle to expert mode, which bypasses confirmation modals and allows high slippage trades. And they state here to use this at your own risk. Plus, you can also toggle from light to dark mode. So that completes my Uniswap tutorial. And I hope that you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.